nothing like starting a video in the middle of the afternoon, but Jason is a holy cow. He's tinkering today because he's bored. <laughs> it's my favorite thing because things start to get done. But first of all, before I tell you what he's doing right now, I'm going to give him another little thing that he can do because I got a tip from one of you guys. Kathleen just gave me a tip on the washer and dryer when you clean out your filter. Um, if you've ever watched any of those videos of ours before when we're learning how to maintain our washer and dryer and, and how to keep mold out of it. We live in Seattle. Mold is a thing. Um, I'll try and leave a playlist or one of those videos here in an iCard um, to give you an idea of what happens when you open that filter. All the water comes rushing out and it drives me nuts because no matter what, water will come out. But Kathleen told me that you can unhook the hose, the water hose, from that filter section before you pull out the filter. So I want Jason to try today because it is, it is due for a filter like clean out and I don't want to have water go all over the place. So, okay, so here's what Jason's doing now. <laughs> Holy cow. It is freezing cold today, and that is kind of what instigated him to do this. It is 62 degrees here in our house. We're kind of cheapskates, and we don't want to turn the heat on. <laughs> well, so basically this, has kept our house warm for years. For years, but, but now- it's not as hot as it has been in the past. Yeah. So I'm reading the manual on what we need to check and do and Bats stuff like that. Bats like, like doing a bunch of work, like if a hair dryer breaks. He wants, to, well, it <laughs> saves us money, right? It does, but it's weird. It's Why is that fun. weird? That means more money for you, my friend. I didn't know. And we're coming up on Christmas, so you better be hoping that we have some extra money to set yeah, aside. Or to yes, Elf on Guess the show what? has it's to quarantine. Called, She's called. already been in a box for so long. I know, she has. Okay, so here's the thing. I need your Christmas list while I'm thinking of it. Oh, yeah. But you no, probably have, have school to go back to. Well, I mean, I only have I only like a few things. things. But I also have to do like a bunch of reading. I have to go from like page 60 to... Then it looks like you need to go back up, my friend. Scoot, scoot. I also These guys being home is another reason why we need to have more heat. So when I'm home alone, when they're normally at school, all I have to heat is the area here in my office. I don't have to heat the rest of this house. I have this fireplace going and it will take all the heat up to the playroom. I have all the doors shut and then I open the doors up when they get home and the heat goes in their bedrooms and they're all toasty warm for the evening and <laughs> that's all we need to do. But this year everyone is home and they're freezing in the well, oh, this child is not ever cold never. or I mean, ever I'm hot. Now. No, you're never cold. That's what I mean. I mean, I'm cold, but that's, that's probably because you're wearing shorts. <laughs> yep, yeah, she I'm is. Cold, I'm She's totally boots. wearing shorts and well, a t-shirt. Okay, okay, okay. I gotta get back to what Dad's doing. I have a battery flashing. Hang on, I gotta change this really quick. Okay, so Jason's gonna explain what he's doing because he's taking this whole thing apart, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. It's it wasn't as hot as it should be, so I read the instructions. And it says annual maintenance, you need to sometimes the flame sensor has a film on it, so you need to clean it with an emery cloth. Okay, okay. how about an emery board? I, I don't know what either one is. The, a nail so. file. Because they're saying on, we had Alexa look up what the meaning of an emery cloth was, and that basically sounds oh, like a sandpaper yeah. on a piece of cloth. Sounds right. Oh, you're like all I've got small, here. I've got sand, I'll just get light sandpaper. I mean, it said it was sandpaper. Yeah, but it's, it's so that you can hold just, it. I don't know, whatever. Yeah, it's just something to rough it up, and I can tell. I can see. I'll just lightly buff it. Where is it at? In there. It's Turn right on your... here. That little stick thing is the uh, the flame. This the, the... is the the uh, sensor, and so it, and it does have a little bit of gunk on it. Okay. Maybe it's it's sensing more flame. Anyways, we haven't maintained it in. Well, no, it's been a couple. Here? No, we maintained it because it didn't work for a while, okay. and we kept turning off, on and off the the flame. But also, we have never been able to figure out how to turn the fan on. No, I know how to turn the fan on. Well, it's... first you got a light. I don't know why that didn't turn on. I've had it on before. Okay, we need to get it so it can turn on the fan, so it can blow the air out. Yeah, I had it. it okay, okay. Okay, go get your stuff. Like, I'm freezing. So it looks like Ashley is doing her brain pop junior. Yeah. Here by daddy, right? How are your feet not freezing? They're not. They're not cold? No. And we're on day three wearing Miss Unicorn? Yes. Can I wear it out? No, you can't wear it outside. We just had this conversation. And then tonight can I not wear it? No, 
Okay, we'll <laughs> discuss this we'll off camera. And you haven't brushed your teeth yet, have you? Okay, we're gonna no, you hang haven't. on. Go, go brush your teeth. <laughs> so Jason didn't figure out the fireplace. Couldn't figure out how to add extra heat or get more heat to come out of it. It used to be that you just get so hot sitting next to it and it's not really doing the same thing. And he couldn't get the fan to turn on even though this morning he could. So we don't know what's going on with it. And the amount that we would pay to have someone come and look at it is probably what we would pay in heating our house all winter. Which one do you pay for? So we're just gonna let it, if it gets that much colder, we're probably have, going to have to turn on the heat on. It's just that this has been so good in the past and it's just frustrating. Part of it is like, let's stop opening the curtains over here. I shut these about four times a day. Yeah, we're not gonna live in a cave. You don't have to live in a cave. You can turn a light on, but that's cold air coming in off those windows. <laughs> All right, we just got home from depositing or cashing Ashley's paycheck. So she's gonna be excited to get that. She got $75 for doing that ultrasound, which is kind of fun. But we're gonna go ahead and clean out our filter on the washing machine down here. And you just remove this little hose right here. That's the filter you need to clean out. But if you take that hose out, I think we can like empty it into a bucket so the water doesn't go all over the floor. All right, so we put a towel down just in case. You want to come help me, Jace? Sure. Okay, I'll hold the bowl. This is slowly coming out. Um, yeah. I mean, that would be all over our floor. Yeah. I don't know how you get, like, the gravity to pull out more. If I do that, will it stop? Then I guess you dump it? You can well, if we do it lower, then it goes out faster. There's still room to dump it out. All right, so far... We've gotten quite a bit of water out of there. And normally that would be like all over the floor in front of the washer. So we're gonna dump this out and then check and see if there's more in the tube. Okay, we're gonna try and get out. Oh yeah, there's still more in there. Okay, that looks like it's all out. Plug it back up and then pull the filter out. There's a little latch. There we go. Hopefully there's no more water in there. Hmm. Yeah, that does save all the water that there. You go. Jason slim. was just saying, he's like, what is it? Smell? Why does it smell down here? Yeah, and that, that is stuff. why. So we have saved ourselves so much money just this year alone with learning how to do stuff ourselves. Like Chelsea was saying this afternoon, she's like, why don't you just get someone else to do it? And Yes, you could, but I can also look up how to do it, and Jason can look up how to do it. And we didn't solve the problem with the fireplace, but it still works. It still puts out heat. It, and then this filter, like some people would call someone to come and check their washer if water starts gushing out of the bottom, <laughs> which is probably going to happen because of how full that filter was. But we've learned how to fix it and not have this problem now. So it's helpful to... Don't you agree? Yeah, that's Learn really how to... nice. It saves the water going everywhere. Yep. So, it's all cleaned out. Wipe that out. No. It doesn't need to be, like, dry. No, it just has a little gunk up in there. Oh. And then you stick it back in there. Okay. And then, that's the first time we've done it without water gushing everywhere. I have a load that I was going to start in here. But I wanted to show you, there's not as much... It doesn't look like it because this is old stain of mold on the edge here. But I have been wiping this out after every single cycle and, and drying it up and even like shoving my towel into this spot until I do another load. And that's really been helping the mold inside the washing machine. And then I had it shut because I was going to start this load. But I have been taking these out and propping this up here. And you'll see from the other video when we first learned how much mold was in here. Like I have no mold. I can get to click this down. How do you do this? Yeah, there's a little. Couldn't do that one handed. There's like a little latch right there. But we had mold all throughout here before. And I've been opening this up and pulling the trays out after every single load. And now there's no mold. Literally, I haven't wiped it out at all. All I've done is make sure the water is all dried up. So now it's ready for another load. I actually can't start it because they need to wash the girls' cozy outfits and they're wearing them. 
So a surprise for you. Yay. <laughs> you want to tell everyone that it, what that is? Uh, Open it up. Open it. Much. Show them what it is. How much? You tell them how much it is. You don't know. I know. How much? Open it up. It'll be fine. It'll be fine if it rips because it's going to go in your other money pouch. Okay. Can you count it? Go the other way. 20. 20. 40. 50. Nope. 20. 40. 60. This is literally the math you're doing in yeah, class right now. Just... You have your, your 60 and you're adding a 10. 10. So that 60 plus 10 is what? 70. And then you're adding a 5. $75. Okay. <laughs> I think I should let you have a little bit now if you want. Mm. If you want to spend it now or if you want to stick it all aside. I would want to spend like a little bit on it. Okay, um, you pick how much you want to spend now. Or we'll put it aside and then if you decide to go to the store and find something, then we'll know how much that you need to take. Are you excited? Yeah. Money, money, money. Is it in the mail or no? No, we got your check in. Yeah, your check came in the mail and then we went and cashed it. Oh. Because you can't cash it. I have to yeah. I have to cash it for you. Look at all that money, girl. How much now I do have? I one hundred I guess I have one hundred and thirteen. Should we could I don't remember. Daddy put the money away. Yeah, I remember having one hundred and thirteen dollars, but and then You might have over two hundred dollars now. That's pretty incredible for a seven year old. And Chelsea Chelsea would probably if she did a skin she would be able to she has like she could do a scan just fine. She doesn't want to do it. She I know. She wants to do it to get money, but she doesn't, also doesn't want to do she it. She doesn't want to take the time to go do it? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to take the money from you now, okay. and we'll put it somewhere safe until you decide to do something with it, okay? okay. But we're going to put it aside for now, okay? Okay, go do your homework. I know you have some. I have my writing. You have writing? Yeah. Okay. So I'm actually cooking a homemade meal tonight. If you can call spaghetti and meatballs a homemade meal. But no one liked the red sauce last time. It's too runny, they said. So we're gonna add some onions and some meatballs and I'm just gonna mash up the meatballs and see if we can make a meat sauce. Make a meat sauce a little bit better. So this. Not yet. I'm gonna do this. Those onions are powerful. Yeah. Gotta use up all those onions we got. But we got a little pasta going. Alright, I think I'm gonna add a little bit of garlic to the mix. Good old Prego. Are you down here for dinner? Yeah. Is it yummy? <laughs> Is it yummy? You're gonna eat all that? <laughs> no, no, she's being a Are you gonna eat it? I'm tired. You want me to You're tired? Sauce? You've been yeah. playing hard. No, just red sauce? Yeah, just red sauce. Alright, there's our very generic meal, but it looks pretty good. It looks like we got, I got a little too much. <laughs> I think I just started pouring it and then I needed more sauce and then I needed more meatballs but she's not up there we've lost a child <laughs> she's probably out hanging out in the neighborhood but we are going to end our night tonight with you guys and enjoy a meal and early bedtime for everyone so thanks for joining us today as we fixed appliances and <laughs> maintenance around the house um we would much rather do it ourselves and save ourselves money so thank you jason for at least trying to fix the, the fireplace yeah and the washer. So, and thanks to Kathleen for the idea. All right, take care guys. Good night.